ladies and gentlemen of the media. Uh, I just want to thank you all for coming. I know it's a bit cramped in the old office, but no, thank you everyone for, for turning up. I appreciate it. Um, I've got an announcement. Of course, I've had a few transfer signings uh, this summer in preparation for the new season. I thought I'd share those with everyone here. Um, but I don't want to be the one to announce it. I've got a special guest. Uh, those that have followed my career will know that I've got a strong relation with a certain news network. And um, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Mr. Ben Sports News. Mr. Ben Sports News. Mr. Sports News. Hello, Ben Sports News. What? Yeah, I've just landed. Oh, bo yeah. Boston doesn't have an airport. Yeah, I'm in America. Logan International. Yeah, so I, after, I thought when you said Boston, you meant America. She did that thing in America. No, we stopped doing the American thing. Yeah, I'll be as quick as I can. Sorry. Yes, yeah, quick as you can. Oh. Yeah, taxi. It's embarrassing. Taxi, can I get her? Mr. Sports News, it's embarrassing. Quick as you can. All right, I'll explain. <clears throat> so, uh, funny things happen. <laughs> he's got he's run the intro. Well, we'll do this another day. Hello there, you cheeky animals. How are you? It's me, Dr. Benji FM. Welcome back to episode two of Boston United, Boston Boys. And uh, today we'll play, face uh, Geisley amongst, uh, we might play Leamington as well, in our first league games of the season, of the series, of everything. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to see it. We've had our pre-season and I've made a couple of interesting transfers. Um, I will introduce them because that's easier for everyone. Now it looks there like I've brought in loads of players. It must be said that uh, this lot here were done before I arrived and already at the club. So, uh, Ben Jones, Ben Fletcher and Liam Edwards, they're the players we've brought in. We'll start with Ben Jones, who I think is a decent centre-back without being sensationally good. He's just he's just solid. Uh, good heading, marking, tackling uh, and physicals are pretty good as well. Uh, six foot two, nice height on him. Just say jumping reach is quite good. 12 and 12 for heading and jumping reach at this level is actually decent, I think. Um, interesting graph there. Not the most attacking of people. Lots of ones in areas which you'd probably prefer there to be, you know, sevens or eights. But it's fine, it's fine. Welcome, Ben Jones. Hello. I'm not penning. Anything. I'm not paying him anything per week. He just pay, he, like, If he plays, he, he gets paid. That's how it works. Uh, the next one is Ben Fletcher, central midfield. There was just a few areas I thought we needed a bit more depth. Uh, so Ben Fletcher comes in. Looks quite young in that picture there. He's 18 years of age, but there looks about 13. So um, we'll see. Five foot two as well. A, a smaller lad, but um, yeah, quite a nice well-rounded stats. You can see lots of nines in there. Uh, orange. We're looking for orange. There's lots of orange and a bit of yellow in there too. So uh, Ben Fletcher, welcome. Uh, Contract-wise, I think it's a similar situation. Yeah, we're paying him if he plays. £100. Per, per, per performance um but yeah so far not having to pay him anything so good and then finally striker liam edwards uh who's got some really nice potential for him We're actually paying him 100 pounds a week i think we've got ourselves a decent striker here composure off the ball of tens on either side pace and acceleration he's got that too decent enough work great first touch is quite good and his finishing of 11 makes him quite a nicely well-rounded striker for this level and you can see when we compare him to the other strikers as well uh three star is about where we're at with some of our attacking players so he's gonna start and that then brings us viewers oh okay I've got a reputation as Formation Man. Uh, usually I start quite simple and then we turn into Formation Man. Not today. So this is what we... Uh, show the... That, that's that there. There, that's what it is. I'm sure you've seen it before. No? Okay. Well, uh, it's... It, I'm going to describe it as different, viewers. Now, I think different is, is a respectful word to use. Now, I've played around with it a little bit in pre-season. Uh, you can see then we've got sort of... It's not. It's a four-at-the-back system with a wing-back, uh, two central midfielders, a winger, a target man, and a poacher just on his shoulder, just on that left-hand side. It's curious, I know. But basically, I want to try and use our best players, and I didn't have a system that was sort of balanced really nicely uh, to allow that to happen. So I thought if we stay defensively quite solid, you've got to think of it like this, right? Davis could play there, but he's not very good there. So we're playing a little bit deeper where he, he gets like, a, 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 he's, he's more familiar with the role, essentially. So that's what we're doing with Ben Davis. Similar situation. I wanted to include, I, I wanted to play three centre-backs for a time, but you can't not play George Smith, not just because of his hair, but because of his technical ability too. So he's in as well, and he, as he has to play. Midfield of Rowe and Tanoy, both very good central midfielders for this level. Uh, got a nice experience. 
experience at this level as well, so I'm happy with those two. On their right-hand side, Max Wright, on loan from Grimsby, our quickest, most agile player probably as well. Like, we've got to get him involved at some point. Um, but I don't have someone in the left wing position necessarily who can do the same job. Edwards and Margaret's up top um, sort of speak for themselves. We've already looked at Liam Edwards, very solid player. Now, alongside Margaret's as well. Um, look, we're just trying to find a system that fits all the best players' viewers. That's the simple answer to it all. So let's hope... hope that that works. As mentioned then, we've played pre-season as Stamford were beaten as were Boston Town and Andy Tannoy scored a 91st minute free kick versus Stoke to get us a 2-2. And then in the next game against Boston Town scored another free kick. The man is ready. I'm training his free kicks and technique. We're going to get him back to 20, which he was previously once before. Uh, step forward, Andy Tannoy. Hopefully he'll do the same thing for us today. So let's waste no more time. Let's get into our first game as Geisley. I think that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Um, we play a home game in the Vanarama North. Let's go. That's a very brief reminder. We're expected to finish around mid-table. Uh, I noticed there that guys, they, they're, they're not so good. They've just been relegated from the division above, which means they've probably got some good quality players. <laughs> but pre-season's gone all right. You know, I'm, I'm quietly confident. And of course, we're early stages here. We're looking for a few of these boys. That's very defensive. I mean, for goodness sake. Oh, by the way, um, you'll notice we're playing at home for this one. I've opted not to go for a square pitch. I've instead gone for the smallest pitch of regular size. Um, basically, the theory behind that is, viewers, that if we have a foul in their half, free kick area. So, yeah, good. But this is very defensive. I mean, for goodness sake, come on. Live a little, for heaven's sake. All right, first team talk of the series. Uh, what, should, what should I say? I'm going to go calmly say, go out there and give these fans their money's worth. I'm not sure how much they've paid. That might not be the best advice. If, they, if they've paid a couple of quid, that's going to be a disaster. I mean, that's that team talk, it's not, oh, it's not encouraged massively, has it? You're about to take charge of your first match as Boston United manager. Uh, they, they, clearly, they didn't give us stuff about pre-season, which is annoying, because I, I tried very hard in that. I've said it's a special day. Can't wait to get started at this wonderful club. And there's the boys. You can see them there, looking happy. Uh, when I went recently, I sat just around sort of there, for anyone that's curious. Right, I'll put it into 2D, just so we can all see it. You can see there, the pitch is quite small. Now, hopefully, that will... I've tried to mind game them. I could have gone square pitch for those that are, are in on that in joke. But we've not done that. But you can see we're building from the back. We're going tactically here. It, it's a work in progress. I could talk you through it, but it might change quite quickly if this doesn't go right. If it starts to go well, we'll talk about it. But as of right now, let's not get bogged down in the specifics of a vertical tiki tacker. The only issue really is that I get two training sessions per week, which... It's not ideal. And the, the, the team cohesion right now is not that strong. And I'm trying to make it stronger. And I can't because there's no time to put like, do a bit of team bonding and all that. As uh, Smith's got it. Finds Rowe. There's Andy. On the edge. Surely not. Oh, he's gone for a curling effort. Just wide. Oh, do you know what? It's nice to be back. I feel like... I'm, I'm lower league. But this is where I belong in the lower leagues. This is fantastic. Half an hour gone. Nil, nil. We're, we're terrifying them. I feel alive, gang. I feel alive again. Now, going forward, our forward players not doing the best job so far. Um, overall, defensively, we're looking all right. But going forward, not so good. As we get to half time, do we make a, a subtle change here or there? All right, into the dressing room we go. Um, I mean, what do you even say? I'm going to say I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen. We can do better. And they love that. They're fired up. God, I took a gamble and it's paid off. Classic me. Now, I'm thinking maybe with the front two. Like, I've got Margaret's played on that side, so he's got a bit more on that left side with George Smith. But I'm going to move them slightly more centrally. And I'm going to make the target man a little bit more supportive. So we're not just constantly pushed up. We need to try and link the play a little better. But with so many defenders, I think we'll be all right in terms of going forward. You can already see, see if I put it there, you can see the shape. The three at the back, then you've got these two sort of combining over on this side. The two up top, of course. And then Smith has got just the freedom of Boston to do whatever he likes down there. He's basically playing a free role at left back. It's fascinating. Right, it's a chance for them though. Ball's thrown in. Andy heads it away. And uh, now Perver plays it across to Halls. Gets it all the way across the dice. Ball to the back post. Thompson heads just wide. Danger. Now, we're, we've started on this balanced approach. I might go... I mean, there it's called 5-2-3, wing back, asymmetric. Wow, download it now. It's not available to download. Sorry, not at the moment. When it wins the league, it will be. We've got more positive, though, as uh, time is slowly ticking away. Now, squad-wise, I'm not overly familiar with options that we can bring on. Jordan Slew might be the option, though, uh, as an attacking midfielder on the left. Margaret's not had the best of games. Let's try and play this for a little time we're experimenting viewers i don't i don't know what this, this is like this is this is not oh oh edwards up top we should have put a striker on the bench really as we're falling foul of that now as the time is ticking away our last minute goal will be the ticket it's not it's a nil nil 
Uh, it, oh, please be a nil-nil. Ball played in. Headed clear. Away, away, away. They've cleared it for us. There we are then. Uh, nil-nil. A lot of possession. I mean, being FM'd there, I'd say. Should have won that. Annoying. All right, these things happen. Uh, because that was so drab, frankly, we're going to play another one for you. So join me, won't you, for the next game. Ah, oh, that's a good start. I was pleased. A point? I can't be angry at nil-nil at the half time point and then say, oh, it's actually quite good. Lie. It's a lie. It's all a lie. Right, Leamington to come. They've just been battered by Altrincham. So, I mean, we're ready for them. Leamington, bring it on. Very quickly, I'll, I'll slip this in the, the middle of the episode. Thank you so much for the support on episode one. Uh, if you've not already seen it, what? You've, you've, you've skipped ahead. But thank you. We nearly got 2,000 likes on it. People are energised. They're back. And it's good to see. So thank you, everyone, for the support on episode one. But let's forget about episode one. We've moved on as I hit my hand against the shelf. That was unpleasant. Oh, dear. All right. Andre Johnson is going to have to find himself on the bench, I think. Uh, we're going to have to... The thing is, you only get five subs. So it's quite risky. Do I keep on the bench? Or do I put in Daniel Rowe, maybe, as an option? I think that's our best bet. All right, so team-wise, identical to the last game. Willis will be in goal. Uh, oh, that's oh, that's fascinating as a name. Coulter. Coulter? Quilter. Coulter. It just looks a bit like Coulter. Ryan Coulter. Coulter? Probably. Probably. Uh, Harris and Middleton next to him. Davis, Smith, Row, Row, Row your bow. Andy Tannoy. Uh, we've got, of course, right on the right-hand side. Oh, I love that when that happens. It didn't even occur to me before now. Uh, Margaret's and Edwards up front, although we didn't see too much going forward in that last game, so we need better this time. But luckily in these divisions, the game comes thick and, thick and fast. I mean, I thought I thought we were going to the game there. What have I done? There we go. We're ready now, finally. We got there. Oh, away from home at the new windmill ground. Uh, let's see how we do. We've got to start well. I think expectations for me this season are to be in the playoff conversation, uh, and that'll be good. They're playing a very basic 4-4-2. Um, this man has clearly got the sun in his eyes. Can't, can't see Toffee, that guy. I mean... Turn the camera the other way, guys. He's actually not too bad as well. He's got some decent attributes on him. All right, then. Second uh, game. Here we go. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do. Although that worries me a bit because what if it's not good? What if they concede four now? Show me what you can do. Concede four. Now, the disadvantage you've got here, and it's only just occurred to me, worth noting, by the way, we're in the white kit for this one, um, is that this pitch is bigger than our pitch. We've not been practicing on this. And if it turns out we're better on this size pitch, our away campaign this season is going to be bloody terrific. Free kick. Andy Tannoy. Surely not. Oh, my word. Can you imagine? I can imagine. I've seen it twice already. Really, from there, though, you expect him to be testing the goalkeeper. This first half has been exhilarating, viewers. Um, by which I mean time has flown so fast, I feel, I feel dizzy. And that's half time. Blinking, you'll miss it. Blimey. All right, team talk-wise, let's go assertively say, unlucky boys, things haven't gone right for us so far. I'm a little bit concerned, gang. That, and it's you know it's a good thing and a bad thing is that we're we're quite defensive aren't we we're quite we're set back I'm 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 nervous because I'm not really sure how good this Boston side is in real life they're sort of mid table maybe upper mid table but like here I feel like defensive stability is the key but I'm not sure if we need three centre backs just hold that thought as we're forward here we could have a chance you know remember we're in the white it's very confusing Edwards there front post cleared away come on get it back in Margots come on. We can do this now. Andy on the edge. Oh, a lovely switch of play to Davis. Hello, viewers. Here we go. Davis ball in. Cleared away, but he's back again. Rose there. It's cleared. But Rose, Rose. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. It's nice, though. That was good. We looked threatening there. And not in like a hooded youth kind of way. In like a... Oh, that, I don't know what that was. Don't know what that was. Editing Ben here. Uh, it sounded like a really rubbish pirate. So... Oh, that, I don't know what that was. Don't know what that was. Yeah. Cheers. Carry on with the video. Ball played forward. Margots. He's in. Row with a magnificent ball. And the first goal of the series goes to Johnny Margots. You love to see it. Johnny M. JM for short. But Johnny. J. J. Dog 3000. Lovely goal. Andy Tanner. You can see the midfield two combining. And then this ball from Row. It's, it's above this division, if we're honest. Look at that. Fantastic. Great first touch, too. The keeper beaten. And the fans behind the goal go ballistic. Oh, the Leamington massive there. We're not happy at all. All right. Half an hour to go. We're 1 0 in the lead. Um, I'm going to shout at them. I'm going to I'm going to tell them to I'm just going to encourage. They're frustrated by that. Don't encourage them. Don't Oh god, the pressure I've put on them now is they've got a chance maybe. Oh dear, Levington now come forward with it. These colors are baffling everyone I think. Uh, English on that side to Flanagan inside steals on it and those three combine nicely over on that side of the pitch. We've got to close him down. No one's closing him down. Ball played in Taylor's there wide. Free kick James to put it in for them. Steals there and steal scores. And they level things. Leamington won, Boston won. And um, I don't want to say it's been coming, but they've, they've looked more dangerous since we scored. 
this delivery here. Defensively, we're not. We're not. I will say there, we've not. We're not massively switched on in the middle, lads. I don't know if anyone wants to, you know, defend that. Be, oh, whatever. No, I'm not even watching it go in. Let's just pretend it's not happened. Right, we're going to go slightly more positive. I think getting on a way point here will be quite crucial. Uh, Edwards has had a quiet game, and this is why Andre Johnson is on the bench. We're going to switch to this sort of more two in the middle, uh, advanced forward time. And uh, Davis is. I'm going to move up slightly further forward. He doesn't love it there, but I think positionally. It maybe supports our winger on that side a little more as they launch the ball towards him. This header's got to be good. Oh, he just controls it. I mean, excellent stuff. Ball forwards, fantastic. Johnson, who's just come on to win the game for Boston. 87 minutes gone. Andre Johnson comes on and scores a goal straight away. I'm going to take all the credit, frankly, in the post-match interview, but we'll take it. Lovely stuff. Davis, I mean, the tactical switch to moving slightly further forward. If he sat further back, he's looking at that going, oh, I could have had that. Never mind. Ball forward, Johnson scores, and Boston take a 2-1 lead. And that's surely got to be that right oh for god i was about to go defensive don't let this happen please okay but let's go defensive now Sh shut up shop go a little bit italian you know let's re reference a previous series even though you might not have seen them five seconds to go and unless levington can do it right now it's going to be our first win uh under my management as oh it's great defensive effort and there we go boston two levington one playoff contenders Beautiful stuff. Lovely stuff. Passionately say, well done. That's a good win for us. Uh, very, very solid. Only thing missing was an Andy Tano free kick. But that's good then. Two games unbeaten so far. Maybe an invincible season. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow, 5pm, for more. We love with care. Let's spend your next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.